cross validation created for uh, Stanford Code Crowds initiative. So far, we have uh, covered the concept behind machine learning. We described in general how to work with data and gave details on the three main types of data models regression, classification, and clustering. With regression models, we covered bias uh, versus variance and gradient descent. In this module, we will cover methods for working with the dataset. Cross validation methods versus uh, residual analysis, test uh, set methods, leave one out cross, cross validation methods, and k fold cross validation method. The classical well now method of performance of performance test based in residual analysis has a problem and presents a family of solutions. The problem do not give an indication of how well the model works, making predictions for unseen data. Solution don't use the entire data set when training the model. Then when training of the when training of model is done, the removed data can can be used as a new data to test the model performance. This is uh, the, the, the family of cross-validation methods. Little regression problem. On the basis of the analysis of residuals, uh, not providing indications about the quality model, making predictions on new data, we can imagine a classic problem the regression. We have a variable i that depends of a variable x and that relationship has two components a, a systematic f of x and a noise component. In this classic regression problem we approach in three ways three different ways. Linear regression, quadratic regression and piecewise uh, linear non parametric regression. But which is the best? So we we know the problem regression. How can we say that one model is better than the other? First approach, test set method. To answer uh, the question of how our models to the to new data behave, we have we have said uh, that we keep part of the observation to test the model on them without experience again, for example. The first of the three methods we will see is known as test set method. For each of the three models we have selected, three of the nine observations don't enter in the, into the calculation model. For each model we calculate the main squared errors as a measure of the goodness of fit of each. We can see uh, that the quadratic regression example has a low mean square error. Zero nine. The quadratic regression seems to be the best of option according to the criterion of the lowest uh, main mean squared mistakes errors. 
seems very simple. But we have spent 30% of our data to test and there is no warranty that is so apparently clear response is maintained using different uh, combination of three of three points left out of the calculation of the duration this is the test set estimator of performance have high variance the second method is called LOOCB leave one out Instead of letting off calculation 30% of the data, just remove one data every time. Systematically, we turn to the elimination of one of the data. We note the mistakes of the edge of the R total observations and calculate the average. None. We have red dots. Nine are the observations. Turn. We need nine linear regressions. Nine curatic regressions. And nine piecewise regression to reach the same conclusion as the test set method. The best approach is the quadratic regression. In this quadrant, we summarize the pros and cons of the two methods presented above and arrive to a question. Can we combine the best of each of the two methods and while avoiding most of these flows? Here we see the approach of k fold cross validation methods. Randomly break the dataset into k partitions. In the example, we have k equal to three partitions colored red, green, and blue. For the red partition, train on all the points. Not in the red partition, find it a set some sums error of the red points and equal for each color red, red, and blue. And then report the mean error. Here we see the approach of k fold cross validation method. Each color lets lets, uh, lets off their partition. In this quadrant, we summarize the results. Our third plans, they don't seem very encouraging. But there is always good news. We can imagine an algorithmic way to help us. The most expensive methods are less so. We return to face the border of an optimization problem. In this module, we covered some validation methods for working with regression models. In the next video, We'll turn our attention to classification models and the number of techniques to create and evaluate that type of model. Thank you very much.